Hello. Today we hear about a great big exciting day for Christians everywhere all over the world. And if we didn't have that exciting day, we wouldn't have a church today. No one would really have heard about Jesus or anything. And that very special day has another funny word. It's another funny name. It's called Pentecost. Hmm. What could Pentecost mean? Well, actually, it's a very, very old word. And it means, in the ancient Greek language, 50th. And it's called 50th after the feast that Jewish people had 50 days after Passover. Okay, well, that's not very exciting, is it? 50th. Perhaps the other way that people talk about Pentecost is a bit more exciting, perhaps a bit more suitable for a special day. Because lots of people call Pentecost the church's birthday, the day when the Christian church really first got started. So let's hear about that, shall we? Well, a few days after Jesus had gone back up to heaven, all of the disciples were together in, to, in one house. All of a sudden, the whole house was filled with a mighty noise that came down from heaven. And then something really amazing happened. The disciples looked up and saw something that looked like flames, like a candle flame, I suppose, over every single person there. One over Peter, one over James, one over Matthew, one over John, until everyone there had a flame shining above him. And that's not all. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And because of that, they began to speak in different languages. Now, at the same time, in Jerusalem, there were some Jewish leaders who came from all different countries. And when they heard this noise, they started to gather around and around until eventually there was a great big crowd and it all gathered together. Well, the people in the crowd, they were amazed. Look, they said, these men, meaning the disciples, they're all from Galilee. So how come we can hear them in our own language. We are from all over the place. Parthia, Media, Elam, Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and areas of Libya near Cyrene and Rome and Crete and Arabia, almost everywhere that people knew. But we hear these men telling us in our own language about the great things that God has done. Well, the crowd, they didn't know what to make of it. Some people even began to laugh at the disciples and said that they were drunk. So Peter stood up, took a deep breath and used his biggest voice to speak to the crowd. My fellow Jews, and all of you who are in Jerusalem, listen to what I say. We are not drunk. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. But remember what Joel, the prophet, wrote about what's happening here today. He wrote, God says, in the last days, I will give my spirit freely to everyone. And so then your sons and your daughters, the young and the old, men and women, they'll prophesy. They'll dream dreams. They will see visions. And I will show miracles in the sky and on the earth. There will be fire and smoke. The sun will go dark. The moon will go as red as blood. The glorious day of the Lord will come and everyone who asks for help will be saved. Well, by now, the crowd had gone really, really quiet 
and were listening really, really hard. And so Peter told them about Jesus. Jesus from Nazareth was a very, very special man, he said. God showed this to you by all the miracles and the wonders and the signs that God did through him, and it happened right here among you. Even so, when Jesus was given to you, you and some evil men took him, nailed him to a cross and killed him. But this was God's plan, and he made that plan long, long, long ago. And God then raised Jesus from death. Well, the crowd was listening even harder now, and Peter went on. Now, King David was our ancestor, and he lived a long, long time ago. And he died, and he was buried, but his grave is still there. But David was also a prophet who knew that God would make a person from David's own family years and years and years later, and that person would not be left in the grave once he had died. When David wrote this, Peter went on to say, he was writing about Jesus rising from the de from death. And we've seen that. And Jesus has now been lifted up into heaven, where he is in his special place with God. So now God the Father and Jesus have sent the Holy Spirit now, and that is what you're seeing and hearing. That's why we're not drunk. So all the people, all the Jewish people, should know this, and this is true, said Peter. God has made Jesus both Lord and Christ. He is the man that you nailed to the cross. When the people heard the, in the crowd heard Peter say this, they felt terrible. They asked Peter and all the other disciples that were around, well, what should we do? How can we make things better? We're sorry. Peter said to them, change your hearts and lives and be baptised. Be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit just like we have. Now in the crowd, which had grown and grown and grown and grown and grown by this time. It was massive. All the people that agreed with Peter and accepted what he said was true. Well, they did what he said and they were baptised. And about 3,000 people became believers on that day. And then from that day on, they all got together and they spent the time learning together getting to know God better and better, praying together and sharing everything that they had. Well, what an amazing day that was. That was the first day when the disciples went out among the people, telling them about Jesus with the Holy Spirit in them. And that is why Pentecost is known as the church's birthday. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done, on earth, on earth, as in heaven, as in heaven, please give to us, please give to us, Forgive us and forgive us all our sins. 
all our sins as we forgive as we forgive those who harm us those who harm us and lead us not and lead us not away from you away from you for thine is the kingdom for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory and the power and the glory forever forever and ever